And today I want to just read you my artist statement that talks a little bit about this painting. I create work that adheres to a dialogue that I have developed throughout my artistic training in art school. Each piece refines the trajectory to my visual voice. While there is an initial plan for my compositions, I am constantly making decisions for both the painting's aesthetic, conceptual, and my own temporal benefit. My paintings are composed with multiple focal points designated by split hor horizon lines and varied perspectives of the subject. Each of the many compositions are designated by, by diagonals that often mirror the subject's forms. This allows the viewer to enter the painting from any of the sections. The geometric schema types of the subjects have limited color to amplify a synecdoche of the materials and the structure of which they were created. I attempt to illustrate the inherent passage of time with the colors of my choosing. My deconstruction and dissection of the subjects echoes the deterioration that transpires in real life. The subject matter of my paintings is inspired by evidence of science or weathering. By altering the settings, I foreshadow the inevitable apocalyptic events that can result from climate change. The forces of nature often always prevail over the man-made and reclaim that which was once its own. These circumstances are being hastened, 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 I don't know how you say that, by man's long-time attempt to conquer his environment while simultaneously, simultaneously destroying it. One of nature's small victories over the manufactured is illustrated by the moss and the fungi in this painting and alludes to something more impactful. This painting does not address the inevitable, for example, a black hole, sun death, supernovas, or what have you, but rather the preventable. My scenes, visible in past, present, and future paintings, may seem surreal for 2016. However, I am offering a viewer a glimpse into my own ideas of what may happen to our Earth in the not-so-distant future. That's my artist statement that I have written for this, uh, for this painting after I wrote it. It kind of, creating this work helped me find a more definite trajectory for my artistic voice and while I've already done a speed paint of this whole painting I loved doing this one guy so much and I know I said this in the other video too but I wanted to do a speed paint for this video I just thought it was so cool this um, if you didn't watch the other one or you're about to watch the other one um, this was about five probably about six hours of footage that I cut down to like less than five minutes. Uh, it took me several days to do so, but this is an oil painting and it's on oil primed linen, which was really nice to work with. And its dimensions are 12 inches by 48 inches. So it's very long. It's a landscape painting. At the end, I take a video of the current painting. This actually had been painted about I don't know, three or four months ago, I was doing it over Thanksgiving break, and now that it's been sitting for a little while, the um, oil paint has had a chance to sort of blend with the layers below it, um, adding the color right here, you'll see, um, it just totally destroyed all of that work that I did, and I was so upset, I kind of like forgot how to glaze, like when I was, when I was doing this painting, I was, I, re I remembered eventually, but this was just ruined it. It was okay though because I knew that it would eventually, you know, merge together and become more transparent. So you'll see a little bit of that in the end when I do a like, close-up of the painting at the current stage today, March 1st, 2016. I was actually doing this in 2015. So that's all I have for you. Um, I'll talk a little bit more once I am completely finished with the speed paint. Oh, you can see right there. I just totally ruined, totally destroyed all that nice detail work, but it's okay. Everything works out for the best. And the oil paint has now become more translucent than it had been originally, and you're starting to be able to see the gray underneath that color. There is a glaze of mm, turquoise over the yellowy brown sort of of the fungi making them appear somewhat more green which I think is really neat. I added these little marks up here of the same color in order for 
the color to appear to be inside of the water. That's a better angle. Texture is really interesting still. You see how thick that white was applied and it's reflecting the green glaze on top. That's the pyramid and as you can see the fungus circles around the pyramid. Here's a picture of just the entire thing. I'll just do a quick little once over. This is the left side. Don't mind my dirty floor. <laughs> That's some moss and stuff growing on those buildings. It's another sphinx here. The full speed paint of this painting is available to see. I'll link it down below. Hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one.